Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher, the channel that helps you prepare for the high school math, chemistry, and physics contest from Waterloo University. This is question 8b from the Euclid contest in 2021, which is the grade 12 math contest. Give it a try and I'll be right back with the solution. All right, so what we want to do is prove that this is a perfect squared. Let's start by just calling this equal to n. I'm just going to let all of that equal to n. Now let's look at a factorial, something simple, 4 factorial. 4 factorial just means we take 4 and multiply it by 3, 2, all the way down to 1. But I can rewrite 4 factorial as 4, so I just pull out the 4, and then multiply it by 3 factorial. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this for every single even factorial. So let's label um, k. k will be some integer from 1 to 200. And for every 2k factorial, so all the even integers, I'm going to just rewrite it as 2k, so that first integer, multiplied by 1 less than that, so 2k minus 1 factorial. All right, well, what about the odd integers? Well, let's look at um, 3, just before 4. So we'll look at 3 factorial, and we'll multiply that with 4 factorial. All right, well, let's just leave 3 factorial alone. But then we've rewritten 4 factorial as this. So multiply that by 4 and 3 factorial. So now I have 4 times 3 factorial squared. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to take every two integers, such as 1 factorial, 2 factorial, and I'm going to rewrite them. So for example, every odd integer, 2k minus 1 factorial, times by the next even integer, 2k factorial, I'm going to rewrite as 2k times 2k minus 1 factorial squared. So what is this going to look like for all of these? So this means n is going to equal, so instead of 1 factorial times 2 factorial, we're going to have 2 times 1 factorial squared. And instead of 3 factorial, 4 factorial, we're going to have here, 4 times 3 factorial squared. And we're going to keep going all the way up to 398 times 397 factorial squared and 400 times 399 factorial squared. And that's still all divided by 200 factorial. All right, now what I'm going to do is just rearrange all the products in the numerator. So I'm going to keep all the factorials to themselves in the beginning. So we have 1 factorial squared. We have 3 factorial squared, all of the um, odd factorials, all the way up to a 399 factorial squared. And then we're multiplying by all the even numbers. So we have 2 times 4 times 6 times 8, all the way up to 400. But what I can do with these is since they're all even numbers, I can write them all as a factor of 2. So 2, I can rewrite as 2 times 1. And 4, I can rewrite as 2 times 2. All the way up to 400, which would be 2 times 200. And then... Notice that there are 200 of these powers of 2, so this is going to reduce to 2 to the power of 200 times by, now we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, all the way up to 200. But that is simply 200 factorial. So what this reduces to then, so we have 200 factorial, what this reduces to is we have all of our odd factorials here, 
1 factorial, 3 factorial, squared squared, all the way up to 399 factorial squared. And then we have times 2 to the 200 and times by 200 factorial. And that is all over 200 factorial. So the 200 factorial is going to cancel. I'm just going to continue over here. So what we have now is that n equals 2 to the 200 times by all of the odd factorials squared. So 1 factorial squared, 3 factorial squared, and so on, all the way up to 399 factorial squared. So if I figure out what the square root of n is then, well, that's just equal to 2 to the 100 times by, well, all the squares are going to go away. So we have 1 factorial, 3 factorial, and so on, all the way up to 399 factorial. Well, since the square root of n is the product of all these integers, then that means the square root of n is itself an integer, which means n is a perfect square.